Well, hey everyone, this is Robbie Weems with Faith Making Sense. We're at the debate with Christopher Hinches and uh, Dr. Uh, David Berlinski, and we're just uh, ending the debate. And there was a question that really disturbed me. It was about faith and reason. And uh, Chris Hitchens said that he believed that faith was a, a weakness. And uh, uh, Mr. McAllister here is with Robbie Zacharias Ministries. Is it rzm.com or .org? Rzm.org. .org. Um, I've listened to a lot of um, Dr. McAllister, his tapes and CDs on faith and reason. Could you elaborate on exactly what the relationship is on faith and reason? And maybe, you know, Anselm said, you know, I believe in order that I may understand, not understand what I believe. Could you help with that just for a moment? Well, sometimes these phrases are used as sound bites without giving any definition. Right. What do we mean by reason? What do we mean by faith? Reason is the rational faculty by which we process information, make judgments, and come up with answers. Faith is not, as is being implied here, like a blind leap into something in the absence of information. Faith actually, as we know in the biblical sense, has the idea of fiducia, noticia, and a census. So there's an information, there is a relational, and there's a rational content, but it's a commitment. So it's a relationship of trust. God does not, faith is not in something that doesn't exist, but we respond to something that does exist. So faith and reason are not antithetical, they're partners. So the whole idea that you could set some kind of a conflict, now there is a type of faith, there is a type of use of faith, where people think you switch off your brain, switch off your reason. Right. But the very fact for me to have a statement to use, trust the propositions of the scripture, to say Jesus is Lord requires both reason, right. it's my reason that processes those words and the actual beliefs, and faith that connects me relationally to the one that had those actual events. So faith and reason are cooperative faculties within right. our life. They're not mutually separate things. They're not, they don't oppose each other. Not at all. And um, would you say that our faith is in an authority and we use reason to establish that authority? Well, the th the, when we say it, again, it's defining terms. Okay. Many years ago, Dr. Schaefer, Francis Schaefer right. said, he is there and he's not silent. Right. If I have faith in the pink fairy, that's right. not faith. That's blind trust in nothing. There okay. is no pink fairy. Right. I can only have faith in something that is truly there. Faith is authenticated in the scriptures because faith is both the gift of God and the response of the person. Good. It comes from the one who is really there, something, someone, That's it. who initiates that faith to which I respond as my rational response, but a trust. So again, it depends on definition. You can use anything with words. Some people are using in a, a sense, a kind of distortion of a Kierkegaardian understanding right. of faith as a blind leap. But even Kierkegaard didn't mean that. What Kierkegaard meant was that we come through stages of existence till we, we try the ethical, the aesthetic life and it, it comes to a point and we move from an either or choice into what he called an ethical life. That then right. brings us up to another level of choice in which there is something higher than ethics. Right. We don't know what it is. And there the leap of faith is that is there something out there, but when you knock on the door, something opens and answers. Wow, that is great. I hope that really helped because that is such an important part and sometimes these things are just not explained. RZM.org, if you want more of these teachings, you can go on there and find it. Thanks so much.